Hi YouTube, this is V. It's been a long time since I posted any video um, and I did promise in my last update that I will absolutely post a video on um, my rescue orchids that I set off to do like maybe two years ago and now they're blooming and I'm really excited to show you um, their bloom. So this is the first one right in front of me. It's got a gorgeous, gorgeous marking on the bloom. Um, it's been, I actually have forgotten how beautiful it is. I rarely see this kind of marking on the orchid with the really um, deep purple color dotted on a white background and a hint of yellow on the lip. And um, the leaf grove is wonderful. This is the newest leaf and it's very stiff, fleshy, and... Um, and um, very healthy. Unlike before, it was very droopy and I think the orchid only had like one or two leaves if you go back to the earlier um, videos. Um, this was actually the orchid that I initially potted in the hydrogen beet and um, it didn't work out for me with the hydrogen beet so I finally decided to repot it into the smagnum, cut up smagnum moss and um, bark mix. And now it's doing wonderful. Let me show you the roots. As you can see, the roots are coming out from the top. And it's got like six leaves. Um, you probably can tell that I don't stick my orchid um, spikes. I don't like to stick them. Um, as long as I have like a heavy um, pot to secure it so it doesn't top over. I think it's more beautiful how it's like draping naturally. But anyway, sidetrack. So, um, this is the root system of this orchid. Can you see that? It's outrageous. Um, I'm not sure if I should like repot it now um, that it's so, the root system is so massive. Um, so, uh, yeah, so this is what, so this is what's going on with this orchid. My other one's also blooming. So the other one, let me show you. Um, I did a bit rescue mission on two orchids, remember? So this is the other one. This is also gorgeous. It has like a peachy um, color to the bloom with like a hint of purple in the middle and also a yellowish red um, lip to it. And it's got many multiple, multiple blooms. And also this one, I feel like this one is much more healthier than um, that one, maybe because initially it was having a hard time adjusting to the um, hydrogen potting mix. So, but now that since I, um, oops, sorry, since I um, changed to the mix maybe like a year ago, it's catching up, but the leaves are not as large as this guy. So look at my hand it's the size of my palm actually and they are very much more fleshy than the other I mean it, it might be because due to it might be due to like the the type of orchid it is I mean the bloom are a little bit bigger than the other one but anyways um, this orchid has also has a wild um, root system let me show you if I can get it out without hurting my other orchids okay so look at that isn't this beautiful and it's actually coming out from the bottom of the pot um I also don't know if I should be repotting this one but the potting mix looks um still look pretty fresh um they don't look dark at all um I heard I, I know that it, when the potting mix start looking dark then I should repot it but the roots are coming out. Um, it's I'm really ecstatic. I'm really happy and excited that the rescue mission turned out so well, and both orchids have recovered completely, and they are actually putting out bloom right now. So, and none of the orchids I have at home need rescuing at this point. Thank God. Okay, let's knock on wood. I have I moved, as you know, that's my backyard. Pretty. Wow, looking. Um, I have all my orchids by this large bay window right here. Um, it's facing the west, so the sun actually sets over there. So in the afternoon and evening, 
there's this um, bright sunlight, but it's not burning hot. So I guess the, the orchids are loving it. They're not burning up. So yeah, so this is my orchid update. And I hope you like my video. Um, I would love to hear um, if you are also doing a rescue uh, orchid rescue mission and how your mission is going. Um, so this concludes my orchid rescue. Thank you so much for watching my videos.